It's been a long time coming, but finally we are going to feature some trail running shoes from the La Sportiva brand. But you guys probably already knew that from the thumbnail of this video. But I know the brand really well, having worked in uh, running retail for 10 years and stocked their shoes. I've tried out a few models over the years. I was a massive fan of their Helios SR, but I did find some of their other shoes to be a little bit stiff, a little bit rigid at the midfoot, and maybe a little bit heavy and a bit clunky to run in. However, ever since they launched the Jackal, that's always interested me. And today we are taking the latest version, the Jackal 2, out for its first run. Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining us for another video at the channel. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. So we've got an exciting video planned today because it is new brand day and I'm sure there's lots of you at home saying it's about time that you tested out some trail shoes from the La Sportiva brand Lloyd and I totally agree because they make some real solid running shoes. So a big shout out to La Sportiva UK for hooking us up with a pair of these. So let's dive straight in and the Jackal 2 is the brand shoe that's been designed to offer good levels of comfort, grip and traction over longer distances on a big mix of different underfoot conditions. And it seems to have become pretty popular in this sort of ultra running scene, especially if you head over into Europe to race, you'll see a lot of runners wearing the Sportiva trail shoes. They retail for £145 here in the UK. So that kind of puts the Jackal 2 in the same price bracket as uh, Socony's Exodus Ultra, Hoka's Speedgoat 5s and Innovate's Trailfly G270s. So it'll be really interesting to see how these sort of stack up and perform compared to those popular trail running options. They weigh in at 308 grams in a UK 10, so not that bad. And like I've already mentioned in the past, I have found some of their shoes to feel quite heavy and quite bulky but these in hand actually feel nicely balanced. So not too bad on the weight front. Uh, I've gone up half a size to a UK 10. I have always found over the years that the Sportiva shoes do size up quite small. So uh, I've gone up half a size and I'd always recommend that. And in some models, maybe even a full size, but these in a UK 10 seem to fit my foot shape really well. The midsole has a seven mil heel offset. So we get a stack height of 22 mil under your forefoot and 29 mil on the heel. If I flip them over, we've got this nice, bright, colorful outsole design. It's actually got a 3.5 mil multi-directional lug pattern. And then that's coated with Le Sportiva's dual compound friction red rubber to give you high levels of grip and traction on a big mix of different underfoot surfaces. Uh, to be honest, I've always found the Le Sportiva rubber to perform pretty well here in the UK. As far as the upper construction goes, Le Sportiva are utilizing this recycled sandwich mesh just to help with airflow within the shoe. So if we look a bit closer at the midfoot here, we've got these mesh panels in between the overlays. So breathability inside the upper should be pretty good. Speaking of overlays, you do get quite a few of them here on the Jackal 2. So we've got them wrapping around the heel, uh, around that midfoot and around the toe box. But you've also got some overlays and some reinforcement around that lacing system, just to give the upper a fair bit more substance, but also to help when it comes to durability. Uh, I've got to say it, Le Sportiva seem to put together a really well-made trail running shoe and over the 10 years I stocked them and sold them, I think I only had one shoe returned with an issue, which the Sportiva sorted out straight away. And that's a pretty good track record. We've got a moderate level of padding in that newly designed tongue and heel setup. Uh, I was surprised that the tongue is just a standard tongue and it's not gusseted inside the upper, which if I'm honest, I'm not necessarily a big fan of. I do think a gusseted tongue works best in a trail running shoe. And I have heard a few people mention when they've been out running in the Jackal 2s that that tongue has slipped round to the side a bit which I never really get on with I don't like that happening in my running shoes so we're going to be keeping a close eye on how that tongue performs out on today's run and then finishing up we've got a handy pull tab on the heel and you get a good level of protection in the front end of the shoe from a nice toe bumper as far as that midsole goes, we've kind of got a dual compound setup when it comes to the construction. So we've got firmer foam down the bottom of that midsole to give you a nice stable platform and good levels of underfoot protection. And then the further you go up that midsole, the softer that compound gets 
giving you that nice sort of plush, comfortable feel close to your foot. And then last but not least, the Sportiva have worked in their EVA Rock Shield just to offer you a bit more protection for when the trails get really technical. Okay, so there's a few facts and figures about the new Jackal 2s from La Sportiva and a little bit of information about that new construction. I think we could get a bit of rain out on today's run. So I'm gonna be heading to Tahiti Woods. Hopefully the trees will give us a bit of shelter from the rain and everything will be okay. But all that's left to do is to lace these up and let's get running. Okay, so, so much for the heavy thunderstorms today. We got lovely blue skies and sunshine and the woods is looking awesome. So we should have a good run. So the first thing I'm definitely noticing about the new Jackal 2, and I noticed it within, I would say four or five steps running in the shoe is the midsole cushioning is a lot firmer than what I've been used to of late. Uh, now we're what, three miles into the run, it actually feels a lot better. And I, I've already kind of adjusted to that firmness and I think it really does highlight how we've just got used to our shoes and that midsole compound being a lot softer and a lot bouncier. Don't get me wrong, it's not uncomfortable in any way. It's just got a much more sort of traditional feel to the level of cushioning in the midsole. And what I'm actually liking about that, now I've got used to it is, I've got lots of ground feel and lots of connection. And that's really what the Sportiva shoes are known for. So it's making me feel very stable underfoot. So a super positive start to the run. Like I said, three miles done. We're gonna try and hit that seven miles again. So we better crack on because time really has run away with me today. So it's getting late and I need to get back home and have some dinner. I'm starving, but let's crack on. We are just about half a mile short of seven miles and we are heading back to the adventure bus and the run's gone really well. I had my sneaky suspicions that I'd like the feel of the Jackal too and it was a La Sportiva shoe that I thought I'd get on with. The upper feels super plush so great holding that heel cup. Feels really comfortable around that heel as well. That tongue's good even though it's not gusseted I haven't had any movement, any slippage. I haven't had to retie the laces and it feels nice and comfortable across the top of my foot. Also, anyone out there who has a bit of width or volume to their forefoot will be happy to hear that this has a lot of room in the toe box, which makes a change because a lot of the shoes I've tested out recently have been super narrow. So I can hear you all letting out a big sigh of relief. I thought, if anything, it might be a bit too wide for me, but locks down really good around my midfoot and then gives me lots of wiggle room in the toe box. Okay, right, just under half a mile to go. So we'll jump back in the bus, we'll get back to the studio and we'll break down the performance of the Jackal 2 in a bit more detail. We'll see you guys there. So my first run in a La Sportiva trail shoe for, I would say a good five or six years, and it went well. The shoe ran comfortable, no irritation, no rubbing from that upper or anything like that. And I actually think upper feel and comfort was one of the standout things for me. Great lockdown around my midfoot. Those laces felt nice and comfortable across the top of my foot. And I had really good hold in the heel. And in fact, this ankle collar and heel cup felt super plush wrapped around my foot. 
Uh, I'm not sure how these things felt on the original version, but upper feel and comfort was great in the Jackal 2. The one thing I did notice when it comes down to fit is I do have to pull these laces in quite tight to get that nice secure hold around my midfoot. So the Jackal does seem to be quite deep in the fit of the shoe and my foot shape is quite shallow. So like I said, there is quite a lot of width quite a lot of depth so if you do need that in your running shoes then I think the Jackal 2 would work really well for you. Didn't cause me any issues, I still had no movement or no slippage within the shoe, I just had to pull those laces down quite tight to get the correct fit. The outsole felt nice and sticky on all the rocks and all the routes that I ran over today and this red friction dual compound rubber felt really grippy. Uh, you can obviously see in all the running footage it was very dry out there today but this 3.5mm lug seemed to handle those dry trails well. Even on the looser areas it gave me good levels of traction. I do think with it being quite a shallow lug, it might struggle in the wetter, muddier months here in the UK. And maybe a, a slightly deeper lug of about four mil, four and a half mil would make the Jackal 2 a little bit more versatile. Once I got used to that slightly firmer ride, the midsole actually performed really well and gave me lots of ground feel in a good way. So felt nice and comfortable, but I felt really connected to the trails underfoot. We've got that EVA rock plate worked in as well. Gave me really good levels of underfoot protection when I picked up the more rocky trails. Obviously, we only did seven miles on today's run, so it's gonna be interesting to see how comfortable that slightly firmer cushioning is on a longer effort. So we're definitely gonna be doing that over the coming weeks and we'll be taking them out for a longer run. I would say if you're buying the Jackal 2 to give you a, a highly cushioned, very soft and bouncy feel to your trail running shoes, then I dare say you're going to be disappointed because the midsole on this shoe isn't designed to give you that type of running experience. In the past, when I have run in some of the Sportiva shoes, I have found that the midfoot can feel quite stiff and quite rigid, especially when I ran in their Akasha. That shoe was just too stiff through the midfoot for my liking, whereas the Jackal does have a bit of flex there. Don't get me wrong, there is still a bit of rigidity, but it still felt nice and responsive when I picked up the more undulating ground or the more technical trails. Uh, also in the past, I have found some of their shoes to be you know, quite heel dominant. There's quite a lot of weight in the back end of the shoe, whereas the Jackal 2 felt nice and balanced out there on today's run. So there you have it, folks. Our first the Sportiva trail shoe to feature on the channel, the Jackal 2. Really hope you've enjoyed the video and it would be awesome to hear from you guys because the Jackal 2 has been out for some time now. So if you put some really good miles into the shoe, then let us know how it's performing in the comments below. Uh, and also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Only takes a second to do and it is completely free, but it is a massive help. We'll be back on the channel very soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting. It is really appreciated. And as always, stay safe and keep on running. Uh, you can obviously tell by all the running footage, it was very dry in the woods today and there wasn't any wet stuff or mud for me to chest... For it gave me lots of connection in a good way. So it felt nice and comfortable. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you... <coughs> oh, my voice. I've got a croaky voice again.